Hello, I'm Suat Gümüşsoy, software developer at MathWorks. Today, I would like to show you the available functionality MATLAB and Simulink for analysis and design of time delay systems. In this webinar, first we will briefly talk about why time delays are important in analysis and design of control system. Then, we will analyze systems with time delays and design a PID controller. We will linearize systems with time delays by linearizing and not linearizing time delays. And finally, we analyze systems with time delays with respect to parameter variations and design a PID controller under these variations. Let's talk about time delays and their effects on analysis and control of system. Time delays are frequently seen in modeling and control. They appear in sensor measurement, actuators, transmission transport delays, in interconnected and distributed systems, and they are used to approximate system behavior. Traditional design methods usually neglect time delays or approximate by uh, pod approximation. However, system behavior and controller performance may be different on time delay systems due to this neglecting or approximating. Therefore, it is important to represent and consider time delays in systems to achieve desired design goals. Let's look at how time delays affect overall performance of a system. Let's open our simulink model. This is a speed control example. We have engine model. We would like to track the reference speed from 2000 RPM to 3000 RPM. Uh, we take the reference speed and we subtract uh, engine speed from it and then feed into the PID controller. Our system has a time delay. Uh, it varies from 0 0.075 to quarter of a second and we monitor engine speed through our scope. Given PID controller parameters, let's run our simulation. As we can see, uh, we track uh, the engine speed from 2000 RPM to 3000 RPM and let's see how tracking performance is affected when time delay changes within these bounds. Uh, let's run our simulation with the middle value by increasing the delay. As we can see, tracking is affected. Now it becomes oscillatory and we have an overshoot. If we increase time delay more and apply the largest time delay, a quarter of a second, now the tracking gets oscillatory and we have almost 30% overshoot. As we can see, even with a quarter second of delay, tracking performance is severely affected. Therefore, we may need to consider time delays in analysis and control of systems. In this section, we talked about time delays and their effects. Time delays appear frequently. Therefore, we need to consider them in our modeling and design, since neglecting them may cause undesired performance degradation. In this section, we analyze time delay systems and design a PID controller. We can analyze time delay systems in the time and frequency domains and compute their system properties. We can design a PID controller by tuning its response time and robustness. Let's analyze system with time delays in time and frequency domains and design a PID controller. Let's close our scope. We will analyze our system with nominal time delay and design a PID controller. Therefore, let's set time delay to its smith value. Let's open our PID controller block. And as you can see, we can uh, see the, what is the proportional and integral gains in the PID controller. To see time domain and frequency domain responses of the plant and tune the PID controller, let's open our tool PID Tuner. PID Tuner has a response mode and here we can choose the plant mode and this shows the step response of the plant, the time delay plant. The lag in the step response shows that this is a time delay system. If we want to see the frequency domain, then we can choose body, and the phase drop clearly shows this is a time delay plant, and we can see the magnitude plot as well. If we go to closed loop system, such as reference tracking, we can see the uh, body plot of that, and similarly we can choose the step response of the closed loop. 
PID tuner combines two tasks, analysis of system with time lay in time and frequency domain, such as step response and border plot. Also, it allows us to tune the PID controller. Here, in gray color plot, it shows untuned closed loop step response, and blue color plot shows the response with tuned parameters. Tuned controller has nice properties, less overshoot, with little oscillation. In PID tuner, we can click show parameters, and this uh, shows uh, extra information about uh, tuning. For example, it gives the tuned parameters values, as well as the previous values. And also it gives information about performance and robustness of the closed loop, such as rise time, settling time, overshoot. And regarding robustness, it gives gain margin and phase margin information. Let's hide these parameters. PID Tuner also allows us to fine tune the PID controller interactively. As we can see, we can tune the controller according to its response time. Uh, for example, if you want to act a little bit slower, we can drag to the left, and as you can see, the response gets slower. And if we want to act faster, then we drag to the right, and now the response gets faster, but as a trade-off, we have more oscillations. Let's design a slower. PID controller here. Uh, we can click apply here and then these values will be updated in the PID block. As we can see, the proportional and integral gains are updated. And let's see how this controller, design controller, performs uh, on our simulate model. So we have a, a nice response. Uh, we have less than uh, maybe 8% uh, uh, overshoot. Uh, and as you see, the tracking is not oscillatory. Note that this response is not exactly the same response in the PID tuner, since PID tuner works on linearized plant, whereas simulation runs on nonlinear plant. But behavior is more or less the same. Um, let's go to our... Um, PID tuner and export this uh, controller for future. Uh, let's look at our design controller performance for other delays. Uh, remember, we tuned PID controller for nominal time delay for the mid value, and let's see how it performs for the lower delay and larger delay. Let's open our scope. And if we try the smallest delay, then the response is not that different. Uh, so our controller performs well. When we try largest delay, now the response starts to get a little bit oscillatory. And we have an overshoot almost 10%. Therefore, we need to design a PID controller which is robust with respect to time delay variations. And in our design, we should take into account these variations. And this example clearly shows that even though we designed for the nominal time delay, when delay varies, our design controller may not perform well. In this section, we analyze time delay system and design a PID controller. And we show that we can analyze time delay systems and compute their system properties. We can tune a PID controller for time delay systems to satisfy our design requirements. Let's talk about linearization of time delay systems. Traditional analysis and control design methods approximate time delays in a system. MATLAB and Simulink allow the user to do that easily. Since approximating time delays may degrade design, we can linearize a nonlinear system without approximating time delays in the system. Then we can use our control design methods on the linearized plant. Previously, we designed a PID controller for a system with nominal time delay, and we saw that its performance is not good for other time delay values. We would like to consider other delays in our design as well.
Therefore, we want to linearize our system at different time delay values. Let's close our scope. In order to linearize the plant, we need linear analysis points, inputs and outputs. But since we would like to linearize the plant only, let's open the loop first and then put an input point and output point at the output of the plant. We would like to linearize the plant at the nominal value so we put the time delay slider to the mid value and then from analysis control design let's open linear analysis tool. This tool allows us to linearize the plant easily. From the options menu we can choose return linear models with exact delays. This means that we linearize everything in the plant except time delays. Now let's hit linearize. This linearize our model as lenses 1 shown here and then we can see the step response in blue. Um, the lag in the step response clearly indicates this is a time delay plant. If we double click on the lenses 1 we can see the ABCD matrices of the linearized model and we can see the time delay value as well. This value is consistent with the slider value as expected. Now let's plot step responses on top of each other and linearize our model with the smallest delay. This creates another step response in green and also creates the model lenses 2 in the workspace. Now we can also linearize with the largest delay which will create another step response in red and also another model lenses 3 in workspace. Now we have three linearized models, lenses 1, lenses 2, lenses 3. We can use our controller design methods for these three plants or we can design a controller for each plant and do gain scheduling. Or if we want to use traditional control design methods, we can use linear analysis tool to linearize the plant including time delays and use the classical control design methods. We can easily select linearized models and then drag and drop to the MATLAB workspace and use them for the PID controller design. In this section, we talked about linearization of time delay systems. We showed that we can linearize time delays in a system and use traditional control design methods. And we showed that we can linearize nonlinear systems by representing time delays exactly. Let's focus on robustness analysis on time delay systems and robust PID design. Analysis and controller design for nominal time delays may not perform well for other time delay values. Analysis and control design have to take into account different delay values, since in practice parameters may vary within certain bounds. Previously, we designed a controller for nominal time delay plant and saw that its performance is not good for other time delays. Then we linearized the plant at three time delay values and exported to workspace as lenses 1, 2, 3. Let's look at lenses 1. We can see the ABCD matrices here, the system matrices, and the time delay value. We would like to stack all these three plants and design a PID controller by considering all three delays together in the design. Using stack command, we can stack them together. And we would like to use a um, SISO tool uh, to design the PID controller. And as an initial controller, we are using C, which is previously designed for system with nominal time delay value, which we export before from PID tuner. Let's open our SISO tool. Let's close this plot. Uh, in SISO tool, we would like to first create an analysis plot. Uh, which is a step plot from R to Y. Um, our step plot um, has only one response, as we can see. Uh, but we have uh, three plants. This is one, two, three. For that, we go to multi-model display and choose individual responses. Now we have a closed-loop step response for lenses one, two, three. Um, we can tune the PID controller using SISO tool uh, and SISO tool has uh, many automated tuning methods. We can choose them from automated tuning tab. If we go there, um, there are optimization based tuning, PID tuning, internal model control and others. Since we have a PID controller, I would like to choose PID tuning. 
uh, we can just go and hit the update compensator to tune the uh, PID controller for um, time delay plans. As we can see, not all responses are good. Um, however, uh, we can change the nominal model in automated tuning. We can go to architecture and choose the plant with the largest time delay and tune the controller for that. If we go to automated tuning and if we update the compensator for this plant, now this gives a very good result. Um, as we can see, step response uh, variation is minimal with respect to the time delay variation. Uh, there is no overshoot and um, the response is also not oscillatory. We can fine tune our controller interactively as well. Uh, from the design mode, instead of automatic, we can choose interactive. Um, this allows us uh, to tune the controller with respect to bandwidth for performance or phase margin uh, for robustness issues. Now, for example, we can increase the controller speed a little bit by choosing uh, bandwidth a little bit larger. Now, uh, we would like to go to the Simulink model and apply this gain, the integrator gain here, and uh, see how it performs on the real plant. So let's go to our Simulink model and then choose an integrator here. and apply our gain. Let's close this and this. And from the scope, let's look at the performance for the largest delay. As we can see here, response is good. No oscillatory behavior or overshoot. Um, now we would like to compare performance of the design PID controller for three time delay values. Remember, this was only for the largest delay. Now for that, we can log the engine speed and start record and run our simulation for two, three delays. First start with the largest delay and the nominal delay, the mid value, and with the smallest delay. We click Simulation Data Inspector uh, and to open uh, Simulation Data Inspector. Um, the reason is uh, now we can see log three data for largest delay, uh, mid delay, and smallest delay. If we just choose them, we can see the response for each delay. As we can see, responses are fast, no overshoot and not oscillatory, and variation for different time delays is minimal. Therefore, this is a desired controller with good performance and robustness behavior. In this section, we talked about robustness analysis of time delay systems and robust PID design. We can analyze time delay systems simultaneously for different delay values and design controllers by considering the effect of not only nominal but various time delay values. Note that we can do robust analysis not only with respect to time delay but any parameter variation in the system. In this webinar, we summarize the available functionality in MATLAB and Simulink for time delay systems. MATLAB and Simulink facilitate the analysis and design of control system with delays, regardless of control structure and number of delays. We can easily do the following tasks for time delay systems. Analysis, PID design, linearization, robustness analysis and design. Using PID tuner, we can analyze time delay systems. We can look at step responses, body plots, we can analyze them in frequency and time domains. We can tune a PID controller using PID tuner. Using linear analysis tool, we can linearize time delay systems by keeping time delays and linearizing rest of it, or linearizing everything in the system. Using SISO tool, if we have a parameter variation, we can create multiple plants and do robustness analysis and tune a controller for these plants. These tasks require control system toolbox and simulating control design. In summary, PID tuner, linear analysis tool, and SISO tool help the analysis of time delay systems and makes the controller design for time delay systems easy. 
Thank you very much for watching this webinar.